Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Trail Podcast for a very long overdue video. And you know us, Josh? Justin. What we got, Josh? Uh, so we've acquired quite a few new things since uh, our last video back in four or five months ago, how long it's been. On this video, we're going to be reviewing a Frank August Case Study 1, I believe it is. Yep, Case Study 1. Case Study 1. Yes. Case study one, and this is coming in at 114.4 proof. Give me the jar. Yeah, and as always, before we get started, Justin is going to read you a verse and we'll pour us up something. Something, something. Something, something or another. If y'all, uh, anybody that has never gotten one of these bottles, these corks on these things are like the real deal. I mean, you could kill somebody with this thing. <laughs> It's, I'm pretty sure it's, it's real brass. It's got to be 100% bright because this thing is like heavy. That's a solid, probably a good half a pound. You done talking? Yeah. All right. <laughs> John 10, 10. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Amen. Oh, sorry, dude. He's on drink the water. Yep. Drink the water. I'm going to drink. The rich stuff. I cut out my drinking. Yeah, I cut out my drinking. Okay. I can still do this. Billy, really very y'all know, right? I can still do this. I ain't done it since. Well, I've drank since, but not uh, for a review purpose. That's a very elegant bottle. Yeah. Make a good um, decanter. Yeah. After you're done with it. Yeah. Definitely. I got first thing. dibs on that. The cam. Yeah. yeah, I've got this one and another one that we'll do a review on later. So he's got dibs on whichever one empties first, I guess. I get molasses. Get that. Well, it's been a while, so yeah. bear with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the first thing. I... Well, I like molasses. Definitely, you can tell it's got some heat to it. Yeah. What was the proof? One fourteen. I didn't hear you. And I failed to look at the bottle beforehand. Boy, did my nose hit us. Boy, did my nose. <laughs> What's in that bag? <laughs> yeah, in that bag. Is that joke? <laughs> uh, I really don't get a whole lot on those unless this has been that long since I've done this. I'm getting like. Plus, cause the, for me, the, 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 the ethanol, heat. the heat is like killing yeah. whatever scent that I may be getting on it. Hopefully that's not the way on the uh, palate. I'm getting molasses and it's like orange, citrus. That's all. I... You didn't wait for a test. Oh, my bad. This is different on the palate. I'm getting your normal orange peel, citrus. I'm getting a little bit. It's got that, yeah. Citrusy, yeah. floral taste. Just all like up front, smashing in the face. Coach to mouth, decent. Not the best by no means, but. No. It does all right on the left. Got, you know, decent color to it, though. Yeah. Hey, what are these glasses called? Yeah. A poco? A, something like that. Yeah. A poke? A, I don't remember. You guys are interested in these, we have some. Remember the Kenzie, I think it's a poco. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, is a poco. If anybody knows that's wrong, correct us in the comments. I'm back for another smell, see if it changed. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit more now that it's uh, died down a little bit and I took my first sip. The citrus. Yeah, some of that uh, citrusy nose is coming through on my nose now. Yeah. I'm getting that as well. I'm getting a little bit of apple on the nose. Not me, just me, but. I can smell that. You, your nose is broke. <laughs> 
I'm joking. <laughs> Listen. I'm picking on you. Oh, no, you're picking, but... Some people might Anybody's not. watching. Everybody's taste knows everything is completely different. Right. A while back, before we quit the channel for a while, we had some idiot, I was going to gonna bring that up in this episode, but... That wanted to get on our channel and disgrace us by saying a whole lot of rude comments that not even don't even remember to remember <laughs> but everybody's different on taste and palate what well, i may get you may get something totally different throughout but yeah and that's one that's one reason why we try we uh, decided that we was going to start back because we wasn't gonna we we quit because we you know we let that stuff kind of get to us and yeah. it brought us down and then we decided that we wasn't going to listen to nobody's yeah. crap and we was just going to keep on going. So. that dude is. Yeah. If you're watching them. This is, we we do not get none of this stuff for free. Everything <laughs> you see in this room has been bought by me. <laughs> and the stuff on my shelf at my house has been bought by me. Most of my most of the stuff we my wife not, bought it for me. We don't get stuff for free. We, we are not paid to do this. This is solely just no. a hobby that we like, that we enjoy doing. So that for those it. that think that other than that god then that's to clarify that and put that to absolutely. rest absolutely but on but back to this back case to study got a hair on my face or something i think it's got a good um I mean, it's got the it's got the, the the heat to it, but it's not like overpowering. Overpowering. It's not like the just kills any kind of taste profile that you get. And it's got a, just a good, a good finish, good lingering uh, mouthfeel to say. Right. Right. But it's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's uh better than what it was when I on a fresh pork pop. Like that one and the small batch that we'll review later on. The first four, I'll be honest, was completely disgusting. Like I thought it was a big mistake on buying both of them, especially that small batch is terrible. But on this yeah, one- Yeah, I tried, I tried it when you first opened it. It just tastes like corn. It's just, just like... pure heat corn. It was just awful. A lot of bourbons changes after you give them time to die down after you cork, after the first four. Yeah. That's a bummed off but. Um, I guess my thoughts on it is not like you. It's the heat's there, but it's not overpowering. It's just enough to yeah give it a little extra. I had to give it like a scale one to ten. I give it like a seven and a half. Cause it's not. It's not definitely not like. I go by six. But yeah. Awesome by no means, but it's not terrible. A little, a little above the average. Yeah, I give it six. Yeah. But, so, uh, final thoughts. Questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> put them below in the comments. Yeah, put those below. Yeah. If you have a problem with us, put that below and then we'll delete it. <laughs> yeah, we have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good Just joking. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to be doing this again. Yeah. I mean, Honestly, I, I didn't even. When we were setting up, I, I kept doing. Uh, Justin was like, You want to do this? I was like, Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's mad because I didn't lose it. But, um, but yeah, if you uh, see this, I wouldn't. It is a little pricey. Uh, it's, it doesn't say what the MSRP was, but I don't remember. It was over 100, right? Yeah, the their their case studies are over 100. I don't remember exactly. The small batch is uh, it comes the mascot. 70 ish. I don't remember exactly. Mascot income. And there is the mascot. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, that's about all you have for that one? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I enjoyed it. Yep, very nice. 10 out of 10 would drink again. Oh, yeah, obviously, yeah. All right, uh, till next time, what we tell them, Josh? Happy bourbon trolling. Peace out, see you guys.